EA Sports. It's in the game. Divisional showdown between the Eagles and the Cowboys. Happy New Year, everybody. Jim Nance, Phil Sims. Thanks for sharing the holiday with us. Let's get ready for some more. Well, Happy New Year to you, Jim, here as we get ready for this game. These players and coaches, they're going to only be happy if they win this game today and Play well when you get late in the season players sometimes they let their emotions uh, be on the downside you cannot let that happen come out here and play hard now we go down to field level as Danielle Bellini has more on today's matchup thanks Jim with two weeks left in the regular season it's easy to recognize that every storyline revolved around this team going undefeated the players and coaches all realize this fact and guys it's motivating them more than anything else they know every opponent is out to play spoiler at this point which is just making them focus more and more on their game plans each week this is a team that's going to be hard to beat back up to you Danielle, thank you very much. Now we'll go to the field. The Eagles are prepared to return the kickoff. He's got a chance to return this one. And the tackle is made right around the 26-yard line. Here's the pride of Virginia Tech. Michael Vick taking the field for the first time today. Michael Vick can make all the throws on the football field. There's no doubt about it. He can fit that football into some small spaces. McCoy's shifted from running back to a receiver in the slot. First and 10 as they go ground here. And they're gonna run it right. Able to take the football out to the 28-yard line. Jeremy Macklin is a threat on the outside for the Philadelphia Eagles. Jim, they need Jeremy Macklin to stay healthy because when healthy, he's one of the best wide receivers in the NFL. Avant lined up now as a slot receiver. Second down and eight. LaShawn McCoy takes the handoff, and they bring it down at the 36-yard line. This Cowboys defense is led by DeMarcus Ware. One of the best outside pass rushers in the last 10 years in the NFL. If he's healthy, he might be the best pass rusher in the NFL. Avant lined up in the slot. Staying on the ground. And he's brought to the ground. The defense doesn't want to give up runs like that, so how do they stop it? Well, they start crowding the line of scrimmage, so you keep crowding that line of scrimmage. Look out, they'll throw it over the top. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. McCoy is called on once again. LaShawn McCoy with a nice piece of running on that play. They've marched right onto the field with this opening drive, and they're moving the chains with regularity. They sure are, and I think it's time for the defense to quit sitting in there in that bland defense they're running, take a chance, and try to stop this drive. Michael Vick and Tony Romo, this matchup of quarterbacks today. Phil, what do you see? Well, you know, listen, it just shows you there's a lot of ways to get it done in the National Football League. They're, neither one of them is six foot four. Tony Romo around 6'2", Michael Vick probably around six foot. But Michael Vick still with the big arm and fast enough to beat you with his legs. And Tony Romo, 
can do it with his head, his arms, and his legs. So it's going to be fun to watch him play. Well, the quarterback gets the completion. It's going to look good on the stat sheet, but there was no chance of getting the first down by catching and running against this defense. Quarterback's got to be a little braver and throw the football down the field. Avant in the slot. Second and eight. He'll fire it out to the left. And they bring it down at the 38-yard line. Well, I guess the best thing to say there, Jim, is they completed the pass, but it still did not get a first down. The Eagles will line up. The first down markers right at the 31-yard line. Play number six coming up on this drive. Third and eight. Brings it in. Good piece of tackling. Well, it doesn't look like much, but it really serves the purpose. Picks up the first down, and now they have a chance to open things up. Avant, a receiver in the slot. Now first and ten. Here's the give to LaShawn McCoy. That's a gain of seven. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. This next play will be run from inside the 20. And a week ago, they were sensational inside the red zone. Nice job that time by the offense, getting the first down inside the red zone. And it's a good thing they got a quarterback with a strong arm because you got to throw into some tight spots in the red zone. First down here after the run. So first and goal to go. And they beat it to him again. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. This drive now about to reach the 10th play of the series. The defense had that one covered. Play after play after play here on this drive. Third and goal from the six. Looking to the right side and throws. Makes the catch. Touchdown. Terrible job that time by the defense. Third and goal. They're expecting pass, and they still can't stop it. This defense is just not fast enough to stop those touchdown passes. Inside of the uprights. The Cowboys have themselves in a hole early. Let's see if their offense can respond on its first drive. The score's 7-0. And he's taken down after a return of about 28. And here comes number nine, Tony Romo, taking the field for the first time. When you talk about Tony Romo, a lot of things you can say, but the guy is an underrated thrower in this league. He can make all the throws. He can throw it with power, and he can throw it with touch. Offense lines up here. First and ten. Takes it from the strong eye. That's a tackle by Kenny Phillips. They have a long run that time, and there's a lot of reasons why they got that long run. But the, the biggest one, the good blocking up front, but what patience for the running back. He did not panic because it took it a while for that running lane to develop. When it did, he saw it, he hit it, and he used his talents to get down the field for the big game. 
Des Bryant is a player with game-breaking ability. How about the way he finished off the year last year? He was dominant uh, outside. Every time he caught the ball, he was making a big play, can make tremendous catches, and I know Tony Romo has a lot of faith in Des Bryant. Excellent job of just picking up the first down. This offense is hot. Another first down, and they are moving down the field. Tony Romo will take it right from the center. First down and 10. Back to the ground. This Philadelphia defense has quite a presence with D'Amico Ryans. Yeah, D'Amico Ryans. We saw him make a lot of tackles with the Houston Texans. And he did the same thing last year with the Eagles defense. He knows how to get to the football. Back to the running back. Gains 11. And that will close out the first quarter in Arlington, Texas. We'll be back after the break for the start of the second. They're able to move the chains after that last run. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Six for the Cowboys. Well, here we are. It's a tie game now. We'll see how the teams react to it. Will it be positive or negative? The Cowboys for the point after. And the extra point is good. Got a tie game here now, and what's been a good one so far. The score's 7-7. Seven to seven. They're setting up return. They stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. The Eagles come to the line in a tight game here in the second quarter. The score's 7-7. Seven to seven. Selleck's a tight end, but lined up in the backfield for this play. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. And it could be should right there, but it really should have been an interception. And that was a battle for the football, Phil. That time, the defense won out incomplete. Yeah, nice job, Jim. That time by the defensive back just being aggressive and getting and making sure the receiver could not make the catch. Avant's gonna get set in the slot for this snap. Second and 10. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Should have had it. These receivers in the NFL, they are so good now. Anytime you see a drop pass, it's almost always the one reason. They took their eyes off the football before it got there. Jackson's lined up now as a slot receiver. Incomplete as that ball sails out of bounds. The defense does its job, forces the incompletion, and now they'll receive the punt. Set up return. Here he goes.
the Cowboys now come to the line. Second quarter of a tie game. Scores 7-7. Seven to seven. Romo's going to take the snap from the shotgun. The Cowboys get a first down, and he's tackled at the 32-yard line. In this league now, you've got to keep these wide receivers and quarterbacks guessing. You just can't come out there and play man-to-man -man every play and think that's going to work. You've got to mix in some zones, some blitzes, and then occasionally go man-to-man -man coverage. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. They're going back up top. Fakes the throw. Still has it. Just couldn't get his feet down on that catch. I don't know what was more terrible. That was a terrible route. Terrible throw by the quarterback. Oh, and what a shot. It's incomplete. Everyone has a lot of expectations for these two quarterbacks. Oh, they do. You know, Tony Romo, they expect a Super Bowl victory or we got to move on to the next quarterback. Well, good luck when you do that down there in Dallas. And Michael Vick, I think all the fans and the people in Philadelphia are waiting for him to become the superstar that they expect. A guy that can make plays with his big arm throwing it down the field and running and lead that team to some wins. Witten's usually a tight end, but he's in the backfield this time. Third down and eight, working that left side. Ooh, the tackle's going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. When a quarterback can run, it usually takes one guy out of pass coverage. Look at the spy that time on the quarterback. That opens up the passing lanes. Good throw and catch. The offense ready to take advantage of this golden opportunity from the red zone. Witten's a tight end, but now shifted into the backfield. First and ten. They knock him down behind the line of scrimmage. So many things you could do on first down, and what do you come up? You come up with that play. That was just a bad play call. Play number six coming up on this drive. They feed him the ball again. How about that run? Touchdown! Brains are a big part of playing the NFL. Good job by the running back making the right decision, follows the blockers and walks into the end zone for the touchdown. The Cowboys with an extra point try on the way. And the point after is good. <laughs> Cowboys will be kicking off. He's got a chance to return this one. And the tackle is made right around the 25-yard line. The Eagles are getting set for their next possession. Avant's lined up in the slot. Now first and ten. And a run right up the middle. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. Avant in the slot. Tight ends in motion here. Vick's going to take it from the gun. Challenging the defense. That ball has been picked off. Defense. 
the penalty is declined. That last play will hold up. First down here. Strong eye handoff here. He is tackled at the 40-yard line. Williams, a receiver in the slot. Second down and five. Looking for an open receiver on the right. It's incomplete. The defender had it for a moment, but could not pick it off cleanly. This is frustrating for a coach. You call a play, you have to receive it down the field on a corner route, and your quarterback cannot put it on the target. Third down play coming up, and last week that was not an issue as they converted time and time again. Nothing like seeing a complete offense. That's what we're watching here today. Yes, we know they can throw it, but what they're showing us here, they can grind out some first downs running the football too. Halftime, two minutes away. set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground going across the middle make the ball is out and the defense has it they've got him down there well that time the offense fumbles the football but the defense hit him so hard uh, there's no chance of hanging on hits the ground and the defense recovers Avant's going to get set in the slot for the snap. First and ten. He's in the clear. He's brought down. Quickly to the line. First down coming up. Vic in shotgun formation. Breaks free. The tackle is made at the 40-yard line. Avant lined up now as a slot receiver. They send the tight end in motion. First down and 10. Looking at every option. He's got a little bit of daylight here, and now they'll be on the other side of the 50 after this play. They're going to the hurry up, back to the line. Avant's actually lined up in the backfield now. First and 10. Give that tackle to Sean Lee. The Eagles signal for the timeout. And that's the first one they've used. Johnson's lined up in the slot. From the shotgun. Ball is out. He's going to be swallowed up behind the line. The Eagles will look to get to the 37 to pick up a first down. Michael Vick will be under center. A sloppy five-yard penalty on the false start. False start. Offense. Still third down. Okay. 
Macklin's in the slot. They hand it off to the running back. A tackle that had to be made, and that'll set up for down. The defense did their job as the special teams get set now. What a difficult spot to be in from here. Harris, a receiver in the slot. Romo stepping back into the shotgun. That ball is rifled to Jason Witten, who makes the catch. They're going to the hurry up offense in the back of the line quickly. They've got a first down now after that catch. Has the reception all alone. Connor Barwin makes the tackle. The Cowboys use another timeout here, and they have one left. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You don't want that. You don't want that. You don't want that. After the long game, let's see what they do here. The quarterback throws to the right. Patrick Chung makes the hit. The Cowboys will use a timeout here. They'll talk it over before running a play on first down. Here's the first snap after the big play. First and ten. Throwing now to his left. Incomplete. Almost going in the other direction. Just stick the football on him. When you see a receiver run around like this, they're going to the corner, drive it, throw it on a line drive, so that way there can't be a mistake. And Williams is going to get set in the slot for this snap. Down and 10, looking to the right side and throwing. Interception. Nice job of the defense that time. In position, they read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. One more snap in halftime. Takes a knee. So that's going to do it for the first half. Cowboys are up in this one, which is brought to you by Verizon. We're back here now in this one where the Cowboys are leading by seven. Let's quickly go to Danielle Bellini. She has an update. I had a moment to speak with Coach Kelly during halftime, and it has been a sloppy game so far, guys. Both teams have turned the ball over multiple times. Talking with Coach, he told me his offense is going to have to stop turning the ball over. The turnovers have been careless, and he believes if they can hold onto the ball, they'll have a really good shot at winning this game.
Thanks, Danielle. And now we'll go to the field. And he's able to take it out for a return of about 26 before being tackled down. The Cowboys get ready to start their drive. Tony Romo will take it right from the center. First down and 10. Takes it from the eye. Good job by the offense picking up a first down there. They've been terrific all day long. They're winning the football game, and they are tiring this defense out. First down here after the run. Back to the ground now on first down. You've got to keep your offensive lineman aggressive, so you have to run the football every once in a while. That run, even though it was a short game, it served a purpose. Second down here. They'll run with it again, and he'll go to the left. That'll put them in what we call plus territory. That was a running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards. Nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. Watch the blitz. Watch the blitz. Now third and short following the run. They hand it off to him again. Brought down by Trent Cole. Always important to know where you are in the football field. That time, a good job by the ball carrier. Just eats out a first down. Nice job. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Gains 13. Good job by the offense getting another first down. You can tell by looking down on the field, the defense hands on their knees. They are getting tired. set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Eyeing that left side. He had it, but the hit jars the ball loose. That's interesting as you watch the receiver trying to make that catch. He knew the defender was close, so he didn't put all of his heart into it. The defender made a nice hit and knocks the football out to the ground. That second down coming up. Looks to his left. Jason Witten with the grab. Well, it's a nice throw and catch by the quarterback and receiver. Puts them in good position where they have a chance to pick up this third down. Witten's playing out of position in the backfield here. Tony Romo is going to take it from the shotgun. The Cowboys now move the chains. Oh, we got us a nice drive going here, Jim. Another first down. They are just making one solid play after another and just marching down the field. The offense looking down the field. The promised land so close by. That reception gave them the first down. Robo standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. 
Good job by the defense. They are all over the throw by the quarterback. They almost pick it off in the end zone. Well, that's a big opportunity missed when you drop a pass like that. Harris is lined up now as a Let's slot go. receiver. Romo's back in shotgun formation. Interception. Away from the ball, there's a flag down on the field. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. Grabbing the face mask. We see it almost once a week, and here it happens again. Well, a lot of times these defenders, I'll give them a, you know, a little slack because they're running so fast, they're trying to tackle some tremendous athletes in open space, and sometimes, accidentally, you're going to grab the face mask. Avant lined up in the slot. Right 20. Right 20. First and 10. McCoy up the middle. That hit by Sean Lee. Nothing like the draw play. Get those defensive ends rushing up the field to hit the quarterback. Boom, you hand the football off. Big running lanes. That's why it works so well. And now they'll try over again on second now. McCoy's got it on the handoff. When you're behind in the football game, all you can do on the offensive side is just go out there and thinking about making plays and picking up first downs, good job by the offense. Jackson's in the slot. Now first and ten. They'll run it with him again. This doesn't look good. We've got a player down, and he's in pain. Well, that's going to hurt him tomorrow. There's no doubt about it. When you get hit like that, you're going to feel some of that pain tomorrow. But the good news is I think he's going to be okay. And once he gets a little um, uh, situated there, I think he'll be back in the game. Second down and eight. McCoy's handed the football, and they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. When you gain big yards like this, that means you have a lot of talent. LaShawn McCoy has it all. He can break tackles, and he can outrun you also. Johnson's a receiver in the slot. First and ten. McCoy's going to secure the handoff, and that's a gain of ten. Well, it's, you know you're just getting dominated physically when the offense just runs the football right up the middle. The middle linebacker and the defensive tackles just have to be better. Johnson's going to get set in the slot for the snap. Back to the ground. And he's going to be tackled right around the 31-yard line. Good job getting the first down by the offense. And look at the defensive players on the sideline cheering their teammates on. Keep us on the sideline a little longer. That's what they're hoping for. Selleck's a tight end, but lined up in the backfield for this play. First down and 10. Another handoff. Let's go now to Danielle Bellini, who has the injury update. 
Guys, I just spoke with a Cowboys official. Jay Ratliff's injury doesn't sound like a long-term issue, but they're playing it safe today, guys. They'll hold him out for the remainder of this one. And while the team isn't going to flat out say he's out for the year, it does seem this injury may end his season. Just 25 yards to pay dirt. Avant's lined up now as a slot receiver. It's a second and four. Staying on the ground. LaShawn McCoy with a nice piece of running on that play. And that will close out the third quarter from Arlington, Texas. We'll be back after the break for the start of the fourth quarter. Offense now in the red zone. Here they come back to the line after picking up over 20 yards on that last play. And that'll gain just a few yards. It's getting harder and harder in the NFL to score when you're this close to the goal line. So what will the offense do? They, they better be creative. That's all I know. Second and goal from the two. Ball is steady. Fan, he breaks the plane. He breaks the plane. He's in for the touchdown. Good job by the offense. They get in there. They tie this game up. Now we'll see if the defense can take advantage of that momentum and keep it on their side. It's good. Got a tie game now. Getting set to kick it off. The score's 14 to 14. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. The Cowboys head to the line. Fourth quarter of a tie game. The scores 14 to 14. It's first down as they head to the line. And he'll try it left. And Patrick Chung is able to bring him down. Well, when you try to tackle this guy, his legs are the size of a refrigerator. So hard to wrap him up. That's why he picked up the big game. First down here after the run. We'll stay on the ground on first down. Not giving up another inch. You know, when the linebackers, when they see that the offensive formation is shifted to one side, well, as a linebacker, you've got to play to that strong side and try to get up there and stop the run. They're able to move the chains after that last run. He gets it again on this drive. The Cowboys get a first down. When we were in practice on Friday, Jim, this team was working on red zone offense all the time. Well, here they are. It's a tie game. We'll see if all that practice pays off. The offense coming to the line inside the opponent's 20. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. And the give now to DeMarco Murray. And that's a gain of 10. When you have an offense like this that just keeps getting first downs, not only are they moving in scoring position, but they're giving their defense a lot of rest. First down here after the run. First and goal on first down. Powers his way across. Touchdown. I'd say this run by the offense is just, it's arrogance. They just say, you can't stop us. 
and they lined up and just shoved it down the defense's throat. Nice run there on first and goal for the touchdown. Defense ready in the goal line formation on this one. Second and short run, and it's a touchdown. The Cowboys for the point after. The extra point, the kick is good. Neither team able to establish the upper hand for too long. We've had already three lead changes, and the score's 21 to 14. Deshaun Jackson with a chance here on the kickoff. Runs it out to about the 27 before he's taken down. The Eagles will come to the line. Still a very close game here in the fourth quarter. The scores 21 to 14. They'll go shotgun here. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Runs out of bounds. Well, the play is there to be made, but the offensive player doesn't get it done. Bad job on first down. Avant lined up in the slot. Michael Vick will take it from the gun. Sticks to his hands. There's a flag right there. Personal foul, face mask, defense. That's a face mask call, and of course, for now on, it's 15 yards no matter how you slice it. They don't even have to interpret it anymore. The severity of it, it's a big penalty. Yeah, it is a big penalty. Uh, you know, one thing, you know why we see a lot of face mask penalties in the NFL now? It's because players tackle too high. Get your arms around the waist. Go down low to make those tackles, and you wouldn't get those face mask penalties. Brett Selling makes the catch. Sometimes it's good protection by the offensive line, and sometimes it's just bad defense. They can't get to the quarterback, and that's another completion by him. Time and this one's running out, and the defense knows it needs another stop. Second down and eight. Where it gets to him for the sack. Pressuring the quarterback, that's what you love to do in the NFL from the defensive side. That time, they blitz, it was quick, it was fast, and they get a sack on the quarterback. The Eagles come to the line, first down marker at the 40. Jackson's in the slot. Challenging the defenders to the right side. How did he drop that? Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time.
They will have to punt. They'll take it at the 20. The Cowboys getting ready now to start their drive. Let's go. We're late in the fourth, and the offense is just trying to sit on the lead. We've hit the two-minute warning in the second half. Good job by the safety diagnosing the run, getting up outside, and making the tackle for a short game. After being stuffed at the line of scrimmage, it's now second down and 10. That tackle was made at the 27-yard line. Tony Romo will take Let's it go. right from the center. Third down and three. Right back to him one more time. They immediately call for a timeout. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Staying with the running game on first down. And they're going to call a timeout here to stop the clock. Let's go. Second down coming up. Gets it again here. Pat Chung makes the tackle. Still five yards short of the first after the run. Third down coming up. Murray's going to take the handoff now. There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. They're calling on the chain gang to come out and measure for this one. And they're inches short. We will see a punt here. The Cowboys are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. The defense stuffs the run on third down, and now we'll see a change of possession. That's a 
the touchback, and the ball will be spotted at the 20. The Eagles offense ready now to see what it can do. Avant's a receiver in the slot. First and ten. Gets a hand on that one to knock it away. Oh, good job by the linebacker knocking that pass down that time. All he did was watch the eyes of the quarterback, and he reacted. It put him in good position, and he knocks the football down. The Eagles get ready to snap the football. They must be careful. They have no timeouts to play with. Scans the field. And almost picked off. Well, for some reason, this quarterback likes to keep trying to go deep down the field against this cover, too. That's not the spot you want to go. You want to look underneath or right down the middle. The Eagles get set at the line, needing to get to the 30 for a first. This game is about to finish. Third down and 10. He's going to be tackled right around the 21-yard line. There it is. The game has come to an end. It was a good one throughout. Hotly contested right down to the wire. An undefeated regular season, Phil, and just how impressive is this? Well, Jim, I, I, I thought years ago it was impossible to do it. But we've seen it a few times here in the last decade. But now the pressure is just going to start because it's one thing doing it in the regular season, but to do it in the playoffs when you're going to face nothing but good teams, we're going to find out a lot more. An incredible ending to this one, and let's watch it one more time. Our GMC never say never moment of the game for Phil Sims and all the crew at EA Sports Jim Nance saying so long for now